All right, guys, let's look at the price story for this week. I'm going to keep it very simple and try to go through this quickly. Um, I'm seeing a potential two down, but I'm looking the same thing I said with Q's in the weekly idea. It's stuck in a mother bar, which makes sense because NQ is stuck in a mother bar as well. So we have been ranging between this and this. We have not broke below this and we have not broke below. We have not broke above that. So really you can get caught up and chop and lose money um, if you don't really know what you're doing. So it's best to just sit out until it breaks because then you have solid direction. You play that trend and you keep um, making money and then you sit out until the next um, trend um, arises. However, I do think we trigger a 2-2 two -two rev down on um, NQ and I'm not going to change my mind until we start to build above here. I'm just not with it so even when we had this we triggered a 2-2 rev but it was very faint you know so it ain't like a 2-2 rev and we dying it's just still trigger and then target here so it's still ranging until we truly break one of these twos is gonna do the job okay so um looking at the daily we still have not we entered a new nq price story so that's why we have been very cautious on nq because we have not tapped that and we have not failed um, and came here. This is an old story. I think we're sitting on top of the old story. Let's see. Yes, we're sitting on top of it. So until we enter back into there, we're still into this story right here. All right, so we go on to the daily. The daily is um, printed printed uh, indecision, is indecision candle as well. So our main pivots this week is the weekly. Um, because we're ranging, we got to keep this very micro. So your weekly pivot is 13 for 140, um, 75 rejection off this level triggers here. And then comes to the bottom of that same situation that we have been having. We have not broke below. So technically we just in this story, we have not came into here, but I can see, um, 830 potentially coming, coming this week, but I'm gonna keep it fairly simple. Um, let's turn on the um, weekly burning. Um, we have not felt, we have not gotten above this at all. So I'm not, every time we come here, I just do not get convinced. I'd be like, mm, I'll wait. We have rejected it for, look at, look, look at this. So we in this mini broadening situation right here. So we top, I think we do come, like I was telling you, come here, hit that. It lines up with my broadening. That can potentially happen this week. Um, the only levels that are sil solid, this is the only thing that's solid here. Rejection off of here. Build above here. Which would target like a, a build above the 618 which is still in danger because we still got this level here and then that. So above the 618, we have that. And then that, I'm not very convinced. But if we get there, you already know what to do. Below this level, we have this and we have this. That's it. Anything in between here, you do not, you sit out. Rejection here. Build off of there. Bounce here. Rejection potentially here. Rejection potential here. Even though if it got if it build here, I would just play this and watch. I wouldn't do anything. I'm only interested in rejection from here, rejection from here, bounce from here. Uh, other than that, I'll just sit. I'll sit out because it. I'm not gonna play this action and get caught up in in it. Okay, so let's go to the write up. We have a potential two two rev. It could two up two. It could two up to. Um, if it does, then you already know what to do. We only have uh, we only have a little bit of range for the upside, so I will be watching that. The the two week new candle coming out, you get a two one two measure move up or a two one two down. So watch that as well. And I put your levels minor levels until we break. You got to be very quick and minor. Okay, four hour broad information. This is what we're in. And just wait. It's that simple. Let's look at ES. All right. So ES, another one that is playing and flirting with the top of the price story. 
we have we've been sitting on the 41.55 last week we couldn't get over it but we ended up pushing through it and spa did get some prints coming in right at this level as well so i'm intrigued to see now the difference between nq and es nq has the room to go up it, it don't really have anything um stopping it so what you would need to do is your pivot 41.55 above this pushes it back to the top of the price story. Now, if you're, gonna, if you're a bull and you want to just be like, oh, y'all, we're ripping, you need 41.75 to, to hold above it and go. You need, that's your important pivot. Rejection of that sends this back down, back down, and back down, still ranging. So the pivot for this one is 41.42.50, 41.55. Above this, up, below this, down. Let's look at the weekly. Another potential 2-2 two -two rep, but we did close above this, so I'm not going to sit here and say that price can't sit here and hit this. It could stay in this little range until it breaks. So it could go here. Watch it here, 41.75. Um, if it look like it's not doing it, I would just get out of my position and wait. So if I'm playing this, my only interest is here or... rejection here like i was telling you guys right so there so the bounce or the rejection that's it i don't like this price action at all but if i had to take a position um and hold i would potentially play the rejection here that's it i would play this upside but it probably happens overnight and i'll probably be asleep when this happens this two two rev up on a daily on es I'd probably be knocked out. Yeah. But I would start a position. I would start a reject. I would start a short position here. And I'm cool with starting. And if it, um, my stop would be right there. And if it stops me out, it stops me out. Then I wait. It's that simple. But to be honest, the price is not clean because we, I told you guys before, when we, when we get to the top of here, we do foolishness into the next major big move. So foolishness into the next major big move. Good luck you guys this week. Um, as we move through price, price the broad, yearly broadening moves up. So it's closer to the 41.13.75. It's not exact, but it's close, okay? Um, we might, we could wick it, but price has been holding above this level for a, a little while. So I'm gonna use this as well if we want, if it starts to look like it if price look weak, a candle body below this will tell me it's weak. So that's why I have that there. All right, good luck this week. Let's kill the week. And last week of the month, preparing for May, price looks like it's kind of topping to me a little bit. So be very cautious. I think we're moving into slow times right now. I think we're going to get as much action as we would get in. I think a slow bleed is, is definitely in order coming, but we'll see. All right. Good luck, guys.